We had then the introduction of Kenta. Ric Flair, I think, was supposed to be there to do this, but he pulled out for some unknown reason. So instead it was William Regal, the general manager, which actually made more sense than having Ric Flair there to do this. So Regal comes out. He puts over Kenta Big. They had a video for Kenta, too. They put, they put, they put this guy over like a million bucks on this show. And out comes Kenta, who did his best to speak English, and he is learning. It is a work in progress. He's certainly making more of an effort than the original Sin Cara did to learn English. And he spoke in Japanese as well, which kind of lost the crowd a little bit. They didn't crap on him too much, but you could tell they, they you know, he kind of lost them there for a little bit. Probably what he should have done is just, in English, say... If you'll give me a moment, I'd like to address the Japanese people watching live and then go into it, and maybe people would have understood. Uh, Because they were airing this show. This is how big of a deal him being on NXT was. NXT aired live in Japan because this guy was making his debut. So whatever time it was over in Japan, they they were watching. They wanted to hear from this guy. So he addressed them in Japanese, and then he started speaking, you know, the broken English. Uh, you know, he, he did pretty good. You know, I could understand what he was saying, but he didn't say much because he's still learning. Uh, but the big news here is that he said, being here at NXT, it's a dream come true, and I know I have to start over. And part of starting over is getting a new name, I guess, because he said from now on, he will go by the name of Hideo Itami. And they put the name up on the screen, and people in the building didn't know how to react. They're kind of like, oh... I think it was this feeling of just disappointment because we were kind of hopeful he would use the name Kenta, which is how he's known around the world. And to be perfectly honest with you, I do think Kenta is just way more marketable. I I just hear the word Kenta and I just think, okay, you can chant that, you know, it's it's an easy thing to chant and it's it's pretty marketable. So yeah, it's kind of cool that they would let him use it, but not the case. He had to change his name. Everyone is just pitching a freak fit. They can't believe this. They already buried him. The burial begins. Kent is dead before he even has a chance to succeed on NXT. Uh, let, let me let me talk about this for a little bit here. First of all, he said that he chose the name because he wanted to pay homage to his mentor. Now, he didn't say who his mentor was. Uh, I don't know anybody who worked in Noah or that he worked with named Hideo, who was like a big legend in Japan. You know, Some people thinking he took the name Hideo after the baseball player Hideo Nomo, which I think is... Maybe he did, but I think that's just a dumb generalization for people to make. Like, who's the the first person I could think of with the name Hideo? Well, it was a baseball player, so that must be the guy. As though there's nobody else in Japan named Hideo. That's just a stupid generalization to make. I'm not even sure that any of that is true. That may just be the story that he came up with. Oh, I want to pay respect to my mentor. There may not be a mentor. Or, or his mentor may be uh, Kobashi or Misawa, but <laughs> WWE can't take the Kobashi or the Misawa name and market it, so I don't think they would have allowed him to take that name. Um, it sounds like he at least had input into what the name would be. Now, like I said before, I do think Kenta is, is more marketable. John Cena uses his real name, and it's not like WWE isn't making millions of dollars off that guy, but for every John Cena, there's a CM Punk who kept ownership of his name. And wouldn't you know, his lawyer sends a letter to WWE, and they've since removed all of his merchandise from their website. First thing they did was they marked it down. So there were CM Punk DVDs for like $3 on WWE Shop until they all got snapped up. And now there's nothing. You do a search for CM Punk, nothing comes up. All of his merchandise has either been sold, or it's been burned, or whatever they're doing with it, it's gone. It's no longer available. There's a reason they want ownership of people's names. The situation with Punk is not going to make things any better when it comes to that. Yet, a few select morons on the show still chant the guy's name. They chant CM Punk. See, I think during the main event, they were chanting CM Punk. You know, and I give the people in Full Sail, the crowd at Full Sail, I give them shit sometimes because they deserve it. But every now and then, the Full Sail, the full sail crowd will make me proud. And that was one of those moments. Some people started chanting Punk's name and they were quickly drowned out by booze. I'm surprised they didn't get their asses kicked. That made me so happy to see that. That that, that chant died a death instantly because people would not allow it. They would not stand for it. So they just booed it. But I would tell people, just stop freaking out over the name. It's not a big deal. He'll be fine. 
And it really, as, as far as the name goes, it's not that bad. Once he makes it to the main roster, you know, Vince has this fetish for one-word names. I'm sure it'll be shortened to Itami. And Itami in Japanese, from what I've read, means pain. That sounds pretty badass to me. I read that on uh, Urban Dictionary. It's where I get all my knowledge from. That's how I learned what a Cleveland steamer was, after John Cena mentioned that in uh, one of his raps on The Rock. And after looking it up, I wish I had never done so. John Cena's a sick man. As far as his debut went, I thought they did as good a job as you could have asked for. I mean, they had the Ascension come out, and you can almost kind of tell. It's like the old school. Like, if you were in a territory, and you were leaving that territory, you would do the, you know, quote, do the honors on the way out, and you would lose. Because it didn't matter. You were going to go away, and back then you can wrestle somewhere else, and nobody would know that you got jobbed out cross-country in some other place because you didn't have the internet, and just people didn't know. This was kind of like that because the Ascension lost the tag titles. They came back out here. They were showed up by Kent. They got their asses kicked. So you could kind of tell they're probably getting called up soon because it's almost like they're on their way out of the territory, and so now they're doing the honors. So they came out here to uh, confront Kenta. They actually tossed him out of the ring. And I'm sure there were a lot of people who saw that and went, up. Oh, here we go. All, already they're making Kenta look like a jabroni. But no, Kenta got right back up on the apron. He took off his jacket. He, I mean, he was going into Kenta mode. And he took both guys on, head on. He kicked the crap out of them. Got them out of the ring. Went outside, grabbed the steel chair, brought it in. Opened the chair, sat down in the chair, and motioned for them to come back in the ring and get more. Come get your asses kicked again, he said. And the Ascension backed off. So he handled both guys, Connor and Victor, all by himself and looked like a badass in doing so. I don't see how anybody could complain about this debut. This was one of the strongest debuts I've ever seen for a guy in WWE. Not just NXT. In WWE, period. I thought they handled this great. And I am... I am cautiously optimistic for the future of Kenta. He has to keep learning the language. He can't come up to the main roster barely knowing English and expect that uh, they're going to you know, do much with him because they rely so much on you having promo ability. But if he keeps up at that and he gets better and he gets better, uh, and we already know he can go, he can wrestle. I mean, that's never been the issue. Uh, I like what his future looks like. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic right now. But I thought the, 